So, you just bought your brand new greatest cartridge ever. That's right. The 7mm PRC. The most accurate, efficient, best downrange ballistics cartridge ever made. And of course, one of the first things that you do is hop on YouTube to see how this compares to the FUD cartridges. Because, let's face it, it destroys them. Hold on. You see some FUD cartridge lover channel talk about how the PRC cartridges are overrated. That the old FUD cartridges can match or even beat it. Huh. So in this video, I'm going to give you five tips on how to debunk FUD lovers. Now before I show you the five tips, I really wanted to show you this amazing guidebook. This, my friends, is a must for any PRC owner. Not only can you debunk any FUD cartridge owner, but it has tons of tips and reloading data for your favorite cartridge. Tip number one, fast twist barrels. In front of you are three of the old cartridges, the 20th century cartridges, the cartridges that are really stuck in the past. We have the 7mm Remington Magnum, the 270 Winchester, which in my opinion is the ultimate FUD cartridge, and then the wannabe new cartridge with its weird shoulder, 280 Ackley Improved. These cartridges don't have fast twists, and they cannot shoot high BC bullets. And if for some reason you see some 270 or 7 Rem Mag, where it has some weird fast twist rate in a factory rifle, make sure to make fun of the owner and tell them it's just trying to keep up with the times. It's really stupid an old cartridge would update to try to stay relevant. Tip number two, tight tolerance chambers. Just those three words make the fun lovers extremely mad. Your PRC or Creedmoor cartridge was designed from the ground up to have tight tolerances in its chamber, which help with accuracy. In fact, you could say, before 2008, we weren't seeing precision accuracy. Thanks to the 6.5 Creedmoor, we get groups that are quarter M away or smaller. So even if an older cartridge has a fast twist rate, make sure to remind them to enjoy their one to two inch groups. Tip number three, efficiency. This, my friends, is a fire breathing dragon. This is the 28 Nosler. And while it has extremely good downrange performance, efficiency is not in its playbook. In fact, enjoy that 800 to 1,000 round barrel life. This is what you call a barrel burner. You see what's really great about the 7mm PRC and the other PRCs is just how efficient and how great the barrel life is. In fact, the 7 PRC case is very similar to a 7mm Remington Magnum, so you can expect your barrel life to be pretty darn good. Now, in defense of the 28 Nosler, as I said, it has very good downrange performance. It has the fast twist rate. It is accurate. But who really wants to deal with a thousand round barrel life? Not me. One last thing. Always remember efficiency. We aren't out to set velocity records. We're doing it through efficient ways. Honestly, I think Hornady any day is going to announce the 7mm Creedmoor, the 30 Creedmoor, and the 338 Creedmoor. Remember, it's efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Also, if there's one thing you remember from this video, remember 500 yards. 500 yards is the magical distance. After 500 yards, the PRC cartridges beat any other cartridge. Tip number four, Hornady ammo is superior. 
This, my friends, is some of the best ammo that you can get. It is the Hornady Precision Hunter. It comes with the greatest bullet ever made, the 175 grain ELDX. And in a PRC cartridge, you will not find more accurate, better downrange ballistics than any other factory ammo. It's that good. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care about the SD and the extreme spread that this ammo gives you. It doesn't matter. It shoots just so darn accurately. You know, it's been said that the Hornady ammo performs just as good as reloading. There is no need to reload when you have the Hornady factory ammo. I'm being serious. I'm not even sure why F-class shooters and bench rest shooters even reload. You just get a PRC cartridge and go to town with the factory ammo. Tip number five and the last one, no belts. These are two Weatherby cartridges, and as you can see at the bottom, they both have a belt. Now, I'm a PRC shooter, so I don't reload, obviously. But if I did, I would not want to deal with the belt. I hear they are just the worst. I mean, do you even headspace off the shoulder or the belt? I don't know. Again, I'm not a reloader. But if I was, oh, that belt would be awful. So grateful I shoot factory ammo with no belts. All right, guys. So obviously that's a spoof video. Um, I actually don't hate the PRC cartridges. I just like giving the PRC fanboys a little hard time. Uh, they do it to me too. So almost on a daily basis, I get, uh, well, comments that basically go through those five little uh, tips I gave in the video, which it's all fun. It's whatever. I thought right now would be a, a, a good time to do a, an update. Uh, let's first start with when the heck am I getting my 7PRC? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be contacting the company that's sending me the gun um, today, and hopefully I hear back, and hopefully I get the gun, uh, I don't know, hopefully by the end of March. <laughs> I really want to test it out. I really want to see what it can do with hand loads. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. I'm just still waiting. Next is uh, how's my weight loss going? I have officially lost 31 pounds, and so that puts me at 12 more pounds to go before I get my Mark V Deluxe and 340 Weatherby. So it's going extremely well. Of uh, the diet I'm doing has worked phenomenally. I don't hate it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, it's just a joke, a spoof, and PRC fans. I love you.